Hey, what's going on guys? Coach Swift here again at Make Money Coaching Sports. Uh, so this one is definitely more for uh, sports performance uh, trainers like myself, okay? Bigger, faster, stronger in a nutshell. Uh, some of it could be applied to those who are in a skills uh, environment uh, for their specific sport. So all the time since I got out of college, uh, which is about going on 12 years now, okay? Uh, I've always been a small market trainer uh, when it comes to the sports performance training side. Um, what happened was there was always these chain uh, sports performance facilities. You guys have all seen them. They're usually 10, 15, 20,000 square feet. Uh, my late teens, early 20s, uh, the biggest name one was always uh, Velocity. Okay, Velocity was a monster. There was 20,000 square foot facilities mostly all throughout the United States. And they, you know, they had a lot of good, great group classes. Uh, it was big stuff. It was one of the first of its kind. Everybody else was just, just kind of a personal trainer, uh, your friend or your coach knew, uh, your family knew from the local gym, okay? Or somebody's um, trainer friend who could go meet you at the park. Okay. Uh, before small trainers like myself and the rest of you got really serious about running a business and making a great income working for yourself or in a small uh, niche market environment. So velocity, and then now, uh, one that's still around, they've done a good job. I think is Parisi. There's a uh, red line. Now that's another one. There's been several of them. Okay. Uh, athletic Republic, uh, was a smaller, like less than sounds square foot facility back in the day. And all of them have gone in and out of time. Uh, you know, 10 years or so gone 10 years, uh, 20 years or so gone. And one thing they do great at is one, they have big group classes and usually enough coaches to where they can cater to any and all athletes. So that's why you're always going to see a mix of athletes of other sports, various sports and age groups, uh, different time slots and all that, different sides of the gym at one time. Uh, their marketing is overall what us sports foremen, strength coaches would call the foundations towards um, elite speed, vertical agility, and overall um, strength conditioning. Okay. Um, then, you know, they sometimes do have their groups where it is mostly a sport. And I think people like Parisi have definitely gotten better at this to where they market towards a certain sport the most. Um, and they've done a good job. But for the most part, all these big chain uh, sports performance gyms cater to any and all athletes. And on here we have said you need to try to just train uh, as many athletes as you can. So that's going to come across all sports, football, basketball, soccer, hockey, um, volleyball, baseball, softball, okay, track and field, and uh, maybe rugby and lacrosse, that's growing too. But if you really, if you want to keep doing that, but let's say you want a special time slot where it's just a certain group of athletes, or you want more of a certain sport because you realize after a few years, I really like working with basketball players. I really like working with volleyball players. I really like working with football players then part of your marketing here's a big simple growth hack those most of those big gyms that have all the money that you don't ha uh this is what uh you should do in order to steadily grow and it's once i say steadily grow i mean we were talking like depending on your model four to eight athletes a month for several months straight uh, like i have is your content you make and the athletes that you showcase the most and certain workouts uh all the results that they have from making top national club teams, how they do in the club teams, how they do uh, in high school, varsity, make it to college. You get a lot of things geared towards that in your uh, online marketing. They're the ones that you show the most, okay? That becomes your, what they call an ICA, your ideal client avatar. Uh, you see it all the time with fitness. They're like, I'm looking for Working moms who are short on time want simple, effective uh, strategies for them to use while uh, to help them lose 20 pounds in six months and learn how to sustain it afterwards. Okay, that's an ideal person. Okay, there's a time frame, uh, there's a specific age range, uh, there's a 
you know, the, the mom who is working, that's going to be, you know, me. I market towards a lot of volleyball players now, okay? So it's usually club and high school volleyball players that I get. And uh, this is the biggest growth hack you can do, whereas the big gyms, they're just going to show each class, like, hey, we're doing this agility drill. We're doing this. They never – if if they got smart, they would say, we're doing this, and we're with all our football players. This, this is going to be the series that we show you for elite speed, or here's the elite – vertical training that we offer and here is our volleyball and basketball players uh showcasing this over time check out the results uh with us okay you have the ability to do that if you want to spike up a certain sport and you're on your roster okay um in the beginning uh my way of doing that without even realizing was i got nothing but quarterbacks and wide receivers and then some defensive backs in football okay that's all i marketed when I posted, I always said like what their name was, what school they go to, what position, um, you know, posted stats, what schools are offering them. So that became my avatar. Coach Swift works with skill athletes. Okay. And then eventually they were bringing their offensive line friends, defensive line friends, because they got to be big, strong, but also athletic, right? Uh, when they go to camps, they want to get seen. Uh, they need help with nutrition, uh, how to get big and strong without just eating like total crap and totally random okay so then i became i started marketing only my offensive linemen who were doing speed and agility training with me but they were also doing strength training they were um i've learned from people over time on how to do uh offensive line defensive line position work also for a while those are the only football players i was getting gradually i have a little bit of skill a little bit of linemen um and football and then the last several years i've posted nothing but volleyball because volleyball is a huge growing sport. And I think not only in North America, um, like it's becoming insane in the club scene if you keep up with it. But my area too is definitely exploded. All the girls who were starting at 14 to 16 for consistent uh, volleyball skills uh, lessons, uh, privates, clinics, and all that. Their younger siblings or girls who are coming up in the same school and clubs, uh, instead of starting at 14 to 16, they were starting at 11 to 13, which means the older girls were also starting a little later on the need for extra strength and speed training uh, that I do uh, to get better. Their younger siblings and peers going up into the same system as them. I'm seeing a burst in 12 to 15 year olds, okay, starting strength conditioning. Like they all say, I need to get fast, I need to get strong. You know what? And they love it. They love the feeling of getting stronger, they love the feeling of getting faster. And they love everything that brings to volleyball, okay? It actually gives them an outlet away from volleyball while working for volleyball. So anybody here who understands the mindset of an athlete, a hardworking business owner, a parent, if you can bypass some of that stress while still working towards the big goal, then uh, everything is going to last a lot longer, okay? So that's a really big hack right there is you simply just start talking the most about certain sports uh, that you want to build the most, the athletes, their success, what you're working on. And gradually, along with word of mouth and meeting coaches, you become a person of authority. You have your ideal client avatar. You can build up. And maybe, just like me, you can have 90% of one sport, and that's volleyball right now, or football, whatever you want, baseball. Um, the other big gyms, they, they're all about just high numbers first because, once again, they're 10, 15,000, 20,000 square feet. Their first goal is enough, it's more than enough volume to pay the rent, pay the bills, pay the coaches, keep the lights on and keep going. And then maybe they have some groups that they can install that are specialized uh, for just a sport. You're the opposite most likely because your overhead is a lot less. You have that wiggle room just like the um, skills coaches we have in our Make Money uh, Coaching Sports Accelerator program, okay? so. It's all very simple. Uh, if you want to talk a little bit more on this, give me a text. My number's in the description, 210-414-3077. Uh, email Coach Ben. Um, we'd love to show you these simple steps on how to, like I said, start adding four to eight players a month. Uh, no matter what your payment system is, start doing that, start making money, and then we show you the rest on how to build a business because there is a difference, okay?